A um, little bit of boxing news before we wrap up, man. We saw a stunner. It was a it was a fight of the year candidate, but one of the biggest upsets in boxing history. Um, Teofimo Lopez, not even a full year removed from his upset of Lomachenko, was outclassed by George Cambosis. Um, yeah. And, and truly outclassed. I thought it was a great fight, but I also thought Teofimo Lopez took this very lighthearted and it showed. He he got embarrassed a little bit, especially in those later rounds. What were your thought on, thoughts on the fight? Well, my, my first thought was, damn, son, you messing up for Brooklyn right now. That's always, anytime somebody from Brooklyn loses, that's always my first thought. It's like, damn, bro. That's really what it comes like, down to, right? <laughs> yeah, it does. I'm sorry, man. I got to keep, keep it real, man. I was like, damn, yo, how you going to let the let, let the hood down like that, man? You was, you was there, bro. Um, But you're right, man. I don't think, I think this, this, this might have been, you know, a bad decision for him. You know, I, if I'm a boxer, I'm going into every fight with the mentality that Mike Tyson is, is coming at me. I'm sorry. I'm not taking nobody lightly because guess what? And, and, and we've seen this plenty of times. It don't take but one punch to get you up out of there. So if I'm a boxer, every time I get into the ring and I look across, I'm going to see Mike Tyson. I don't care if I'm ba- if I'm boxing 5-2, you know, Rob Jackson from from the Bronx, or oh, I'm, I'm 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 boxing six feet five, three hundred thirty pound. You know, Jake from, from from State Farm, whoever it is, I'm going in and I'm telling myself Mike Tyson is coming to kill me. <laughs> He's going to eat my kids. Okay, I don't know what's going to happen, but I got to go into the fight like this, and and I'm taking this thing very seriously. Obviously, that wasn't the case, and and and, and he was upset. Um, you know, and this is a kid that we had just nominated on the, on the next up award on the show at the Rifties. You know what I mean? So I would like to see him bounce back from this and you can always bounce back. Um, but moving forward, you better take everything seriously. Um, ain't no, I don't care who the opponent is, whether you feel like you better than them, you know them, you should beat them. I don't want to hear none of that. You prepare for everybody the same way because anything can happen when you are in that, that ring. Yeah. Um, there were some things that I, I read up and, and heard about um, Teofimo after the fight that should have been red flags for all of us. But again, these things that didn't really come out. Um, he's going through a very ugly divorce with his wife. Mm. He's also having financial problems, which came as a shock to me because... I know the the fight against um, Lomachenko was his biggest payday. I think he made one and a half, maybe two million there. That fight was just a year ago, and yeah. he, well, listen, I mean, we don't know what is what is financial. No, situation no, no, going in well, too. Right, I don't. Right, exactly. That's a great point. I don't know what it was before then, but I heard he said himself that before he got the check for this fight, he was down as like his last twenty thousand in the bank, which to me just sounds crazy. And yeah. I don't know if that's a management thing. Like you said, I don't know if that's something from a pre-existing debt and maybe that big payday just kind of paid off whatever he had. But yeah. um, that's I a lot of money though. Like, I'm, I'm just big like of a debt. you just fought Lomachenko in January. Yeah, that's a lot. So, I, you know, and, and you would think that after beating Lomachenko, even if you had a lot of debt before that fight, you know, now you got new sponsors, you're a household name, you're parading around the, the country with the belts. You know, there would have been a lot of income and revenue just kind of streaming yeah, in at this point. Speeds, you know, right? so, like that. so I was a little I was a little surprised to hear all that. And then he himself also said that he struggled to make weight. So for me, my concern with TFEMO is not only this loss, which is very shocking, but his mindset moving forward. Uh some guys, man, and, and this is why we praise the guys like Floyd Mayweather who get to the mountaintop and then are able to mentally stay focused to stay there. Some guys get to the mountaintop. And then that's all they ever wanted, and they don't know how to sustain it. Um, I hope Teofimo Lopez doesn't go down on that list of guys similar to a Buster Douglas who had their moment and then never got it back again. You know what I'm saying? Uh, So I I hope the best for the kid. He's probably going to move up to 140. I don't know if he takes the rematch. He may take it for pride. But I have a feeling he's going to move up to 140 and start taking some bigger paydays there. But ultimately, he's got to get his mind right, man, because he's a super talented fighter. He's a guy who was on some people's pound for pound list. And obviously, he was considered the best lightweight in the world. And in yeah. his first title defense, he got outclassed in front of his home crowd. 
Yeah, it's tough. Yo, this is Teresa Weatherspoon, better known as Teaspoon, and you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Real talk, we as real as you thought.